In my college course on children's literature, I always have told my students to hold tightly to the narrative. This is about the importance of narrative itself. Never subject the narrative to any a priori theory. Fairy tales speak first to the senses. Do not use the solvent of mental abstraction on the concrete. The truth in the fairy tales will not be grasped in this way. Listen instead to Flannery O'Connor, who reminds us that the whole story is the meaning because it is an experience, not an abstraction." End of quote. With respect to children and truth of fairy tales, yes, sometimes it is appropriate, nay even necessary, to delineate the perennial wisdom through the abstraction of norm, concept, principle, or law. Children do need rules and guides for good behavior, but stories, when they belong to a sacred scripture or a folk tradition, are the most effective means of engendering a moral imagination that respects rules and obeys laws. In his essay titled Children in Literature, the renowned child psychiatrist uh, Robert Coles has written, the truth is that many of us, certainly in my field of psychology, child psychology, don't give enough credit to the natural, normal, everyday development of narrative interest, narrative sense, narrative response, narrative comp competence in boys and girls, end of quote. Children are always seeking out new experiences, and they can find them in stories, so long as adults do not spoil these stories by superimposing concepts or rules over the narrative. Thank you for watching. We hope you are enjoying these clips and invite you to watch the full courses at classicalu.com, where you will find content designed for anyone seeking to understand the classical tradition of education and how to teach with excellence.